Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change a defrost timer on a refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver and a flat blade screwdriver. Let me show you how we do it. Now the first step in this repair should be to disconnect the power. Simply unplug the cord from the receptacle. Then we'll open the fresh food door. We'll remove the knob from the cold control. And then we'll pull down on the light cover, hinge it upwards, lift it out of the way. And I find this a little easier to remove the light bulb as well, so simply unscrew the light bulb and set that aside. Next we're going to remove a single quarter inch hex head screw. It's just about in the center and it holds the air inlet assembly onto the control housing. Remove that one screw. And we'll rotate the housing outward. Use a little caution with that because it has a styrofoam end piece on it that we don't want to damage. We'll set that aside. Next, we're going to remove one more quarter inch hex head screw, which is right at the top. And that holds that control housing in place. Once you remove that screw, you can tilt it forward and then lift up on it. There's a metal tab that engages the slot in the back panel. Once that's disconnected, you can rotate it forward and then disconnect the wire harness. There's two locking tabs on the side. Simply depress those and unplug it. Now we can set this on a work surface and we can replace the defrost timer. Now that we have the control housing out where we can work on it, we're next going to remove the two quarter inch screws that hold the timer to the housing. And we'll flip it over and then we can pull the timer out of the housing. And there's a four pin connector that attaches to the defrost timer. You may find those a little tight, so just take a flat blade screwdriver and insert it between the connector and the timer and just pry it off. Discard the old timer. We'll take our new one, plug the harness into it. Make sure it's seated firmly. And locate that timer in the proper position in the housing. Start one of the screws. And locate the opening for the other screw. Line that up. The defrost timer has a little dial on it there that will only turn in a clockwise direction with a flat blade screwdriver. If you turn it carefully, we'll rotate it so far and then you'll hear a loud click. That's the beginning of the defrost cycle. Rotate it a little bit farther past that, another notch, and it's back out of the defrost cycle. So when we put this in the refrigerator, it'll have just passed a defrost cycle and the refrigerator will cool. Now we're ready to reinstall the housing. Now to reinstall the housing, we want to locate that tab and the slot portion over on the right hand side here and then the screw through the top flange into the back panel. First thing is we'll connect the wire harness. Make sure that's locked into place. Put the tab into the back cabinet. Then reinstall the screw. Next, we'll carefully reinstall the air diffuser, making sure that we don't damage that styrofoam end. Position it into the opening into the freezer first. 
And this V portion will glue it around the narrowed end of the control housing. So you have to carefully fit that on there as well. And we install the screw that holds those two pieces together. Reinstall the light bulb. Then the cover, we'll hook the top on first, let it hang. And we'll just pull down slightly on the horizontal portion at the bottom, and let it hook in, and then reinstall the knob. Now we're ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete. We told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching and good luck with your repair.